hey guys what's going on what's popping what's good it's your girl simone aka the black queen and i'm back with another youtube video get hype with it pump it up hey <laughs> but i'm back with another youtube video guys um but 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 today before we get a little but before we get into today's video, I wanted to talk about my new fall collection. I'm slowly adding pieces and getting ready for the fall because um, it is September 13th. So, you know, fall is about to be here. So I want all my ladies to look cute. I, I them out, fellas, you feel me? Um, so this is the new SU for my store shop on Sunday. This is the new SU like crop top. I'm not gonna get up because my stomach hurt. Um, yeah, and it's really cute. I'm going to take some pictures and insert it. So make sure you guys are following me at on shop underscore unsaid. And also the black underscore. Oh, I almost forgot my Instagram name. The black underscore underscore queen. So you guys can see the full outfit that I'm going to put on today. But it's basically like a crop top-ish. Let me just get. So it's basically like a crop top. And I really love this cop because it's in season. It's, it's trending. It's in style with these types of sleeves. And it also comes with this little cute headband right so like what i like to do get a little creative with it you could tie it right here and this is really cute i'm wearing a size large because i like my like collarbone to show because i feel like i have a nice neckline or you could put it like right here if you see my lace front my wig is not glued down so i could hit you here with it and just be like black queen you feel me so <laughs> so yeah but anyway that's one of the items I'll be getting added to Shop On Said um, for my full collection. Um, I'm looking at some of them right here and I can't wait to style them for you guys and show you guys what's coming to Shop On Said. But let's head into the rest of the video for today. It's, oh my God, it's matching the mood of the sky today. It's very gloomy out, but um, we're gonna talk about some suicide prevention um, this week from September 8th to September 14th. So today is September 3rd, um, it's suicide prevention week. And the reason why I'm so like, the reason I wanted to make this video rather is because it's coming up on a couple of years, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, yeah. It's coming on the fifth year that my cousin had killed himself. Um, he committed suicide in October of 2016. Um, his birthday is October 21st and mine is October 23rd. And oh my God, it took such a huge toll on me, to be honest with you. It took such a huge toll on me that like his mom, like everybody, of course, like when I death in the family is just like crazy, but to be so young and be like African-American, a black male, um, and you know the statistics out here of like, you know, cops killing them or being shot by, you know, my other another person or just gang rivalry but the simple fact to know that you killed yourself over you just committed suicide over thoughts and and other personal like mental health issues i guess and it just it just took a huge toll on me it really did also within the same month like and this is a side note my uncle had passed away from cancer and also my best friend well my ex-best friend uh she just like stop talking to me and walked up on my life and we haven't spoken since and so i'm saying this to like say this and the reason why i wanted to make this video is just because i wanted to bring awareness to it so anyone that's thinking about uh committing suicide first of all stop like just stop and breathe and think and just just breathe make a list of everything that you know you're grateful for i understand like sometimes we get caught up especially on social media social media also has a, a huge impact on the reason why we we feel these ways and, and we think about these things because you know we're comparing our lives to other people's lives and compare what we what they have to what we don't have but just make a list of everything that you're grateful for and also pray i don't know if you're religious or not but like just pray and this is the stuff that I wish I was able to communicate, communicate to my cousin because I miss him so much. You know, the simple fact that his birthday was October 21st and mine's the 23rd. Like, you know, that's gang season, you know? So, and those are moments that I'll never get a chance to really have with him, um, which sucks. But anyway, you know, also if you're like contemplated, like please reach out to people that you love. Um, people that you know that love you, like your parents or a friend or like a, if you're in school, a faculty or staff member or, or in, if you're in high school, like a, 
a teacher or a professor or somebody reach out to somebody somebody loves you and if you shoot if you want to reach out to me sis reach out to me because you know i'm a practicing social worker so i'm trying to get up there and stuff like that but just make those lists reach out to people and just be thankful for, for what you have and i know it's i know it's hard because let me tell y'all something i'm gonna share i'm gonna share something with y'all um when my cousin killed himself bro like i felt like shit nigga maybe i should kill myself like since like it was just so much going on but i had to also stop and think i'd be like so how selfish could that be for me you know i'm an older sister i'm an aunt um i'm a niece i'm a granddaughter like you know i'm a daughter like i'm a friend like there's so many people out there that love me that are counting on me so it's just like i why would i want to put that pain onto somebody else like instead of me going to seek help and going to like going to a therapist and reaching out to friends and and to cousins and, and or somebody you know or just doing things that like make me happy and during this time period i'm just going to share this with you guys like after he committed after those two deaths in my family um i went into a deep deep depression and i told myself i said I'm like this depression is not gonna win like i'm not gonna end up like my cousin like I will not period and so i started to get involved in my school and maybe i wouldn't say this is the most healthy and most effective way because there's still issues that i'm dealing now still from when i was from five years ago but i started to be on a swim team because that's also how i dropped a lot of weight like because i stopped eating because i was so depressed but then i was also an athlete so it was just like you're working out eating less so of course your body's gonna like your body weight's gonna drop but also like i started shopping said so shopping said was that this is actually the reason why my cousin committed suicide once again uh, my uncle passed away and my best friend she just walked out of my life and so like i said i told myself depression will not win you know i will not be a victim of depression and i will not cause that pain onto my family my siblings like people that love me i will not so I had to construct and, and put that energy and all those negative ideas and turn them into positive ones. And I decided to start a business. Um, fashion has always been something that I loved. I've always loved to look good, um, to create looks and just to just be able to express myself through art and through fashion. I've always been like this and I always will continue to be like this to the day I take my last breath. And I feel like without shopping today, bro, I don't know where I'll be. I'll probably be still depressed, still stressed out, probably not as far as I am now in graduate school. So that's what I'm just telling all y'all to just hold on. Hold on, because also better days are ahead. Like This is something that my grandma told me too. Better days are always ahead. Um, tough times don't last. So I really hope this video can help someone. Also, I wanted to pull up the suicide prevention um, number. Give me one second. I didn't write it down like an idiot. <laughs> But if you can't reach out to a family member, a parent, a sibling, a cousin, uh, a grandmother, a friend, a faculty staff member, or you know someone that's in your community, the suicide prevention number, and this is a national number and they are open 24 seven. Um, the number is 1-800-273-8255. Resource if you feel like you're gonna be contemplating suicide or whatever, please do it. You don't want to just think about the hurt that you will cause your that people that love you. I understand, like, well, I can't understand because I don't know every situation is different, but you know, we are there's so many situations where you feel like there's no hope, but there is a hope out there. Pray, y'all, get involved, read, try to expand, try to get out your head. Um, and like I said, if that doesn't work, call this hotline because people love you out here, and we don't, and you don't want to put that hurt on to someone else i'm telling you because it just it literally just passes on passes on until people get healed and it t healing takes a lot a lot of work a lot of energy and a lot of time and people today are just out here hurt so i really hope this video helps someone um drop a heart in the comments if it helped you or tag someone that needs to watch this video please guys use your resources out there check out the communities that might you know have suicidal um resource hotlines and stuff like that because every i'm pretty sure every community especially in new york city there's a lot of suicide hotline um resources out there so um yeah guys i love y'all so much i hope y'all having a great day 
um, cheer up and go live your life and create goals and be happy. And um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe in this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah!